Let's move on now to other global stories. In West Africa's Guinea-Bissau, the government has survived an attempted coup. President Mbalo, who survived heavy fire for five hours, claimed that attackers in fact had killed several people. It remains unclear as of now who is behind the attack. At least six people have been reported as killed in the failed coup attempt as life returned to normal in the West African country. The deaths include four assailants and two members of the Presidential Guard. The government has also announced that the situation is now under control, but all this after a gunfire exchange which lasted for more than five hours. The firing took place near a government compound where a cabinet meeting was on with the president in attendance, of course. The president, Omaro Siso Mbalo, addressed the nation from the presidential palace. He said that the failed bid was linked to decisions taken by him, and I quote, notably to fight drug trafficking and corruption. Confronté avec l'immigration, j'étais en plein conseil de ministres. Tous les membres, y compris les premiers ministres, nous sommes attaqués. Donc là, armement très lourd, très lourd. Ce qui avait pas. Et en ce moment, tout se sous contrôle des forces de guerre. Nous existons. Et une chose que je peux vous assurer, il n'y a aucun cas qui est relié à cette tentative de coup c'est une chose mais c'est lié aussi les gens qu'on a combattu. Quand j'étais élu président de la République, j'avais un acte des choses. La corruption est importante. Et ça, c'est lié aussi à ça. Et je savais quel était le prix de la lutte contre Co-prone Guinea-Bissau struggles with the reputation for corruption and drug smuggling. The country has become an important stop on the Africa trafficking route and mainly due to its porous coastline and cultural ties. In 2019, nearly two tons of cocaine were seized. Guinea-Bissau, a former Portuguese colony, has seen four military takeovers since gaining independence in 1974, the last one being in 2012. In 2014, the country vowed to return to democracy, but it has enjoyed little stability ever since, as the armed forces have substantial clout. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.